Hey folks, Jerome Forcewood here. It's 4.20 p.m. on April 3rd, 2024 in Mount Pleasant, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. It is 10 degrees outside on a partly cloudy afternoon in the city. And this video, I travel for 2.8 kilometers, starting by the Transit bus stop at Main and East Broadway. Then stroll north on Main, ride the Expo Line Sky Train from Main Street Science World Station to Stadium Chinatown Station, continuing on foot southwest on Beatty, ending my trek downtown on the outdoor promenade of BC Place. To support the channel, click the heart icon to send me super thanks. For updates, follow me on TikTok and Instagram at jforestwood. And if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, share it, and subscribe. Hey folks, Jerome Forestwood here. It's over at East 7th and uh, Main Street. We're walking along Main Street right now. Here again, it's the intersection of East 7th and Main Street. There's no uh, clear walking path across the street. Um, there is a crosswalk though up the corner here. Just half a block, so there is a way to get up there and across the street. Uh, there's another crosswalk down here. And two at Fifth F, so another two blocks away. VE6 6OR sloppy driving, sloppy driving. Sorry about that, doesn't cut it. <laughs> so, if you know someone who drives a that specific car, <laughs> I give them a chirp <laughs> and I'll make a little bit of fun of them. I mean, like I saw you on Jerome Forest with. <laughs> Driving sloppy. <laughs> Smarten up. <laughs> mm. And after you've jostled them, just drop it. <laughs> that will make them feel guilty enough. <laughs> that will slowly get the city back in alignment. <laughs> I'll see you with me and a few other folks. <laughs> I'll keep walking here. This person over here didn't have anyone at the intersection, so first they just pulled up and then pulled out to look around. So that's the difference. If I'm crossing the way and you're stopping there, that's sloppy. Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. Over here, they're fine. They're not doing anything wrong. Let's keep going. <laughs> local artist drawing the architecture over here. This is an awesome building to draw. It's the one they're drawing here. Look at the detail at the top. It's so cool. That's where uh, the archery store is. Local uh, Lycopis, sorry. Lycopis Archery. As well as uh, the local Cardam's Donut Shop is. And over here in the City Motor Hotel, there's actually a bunch of uh, different studios and restaurants and uh, Businesses, because it's turned into a little business area. Let's keep walking. It looks like that guy has a pimple that probably popped on his cheek, and he's just trying to keep it from drum, uh, dropping blood on his shirt. That's uh, <laughs> it's happened to me before. <laughs> You just be walking and then you just feel it pop and it's finally gone. <laughs> and then the next thing you know, you got a little bit of blood following it. <laughs> Doesn't always happen but every once in a while. Oh wow, look at that goat over there on the side of the building. <laughs> That's interesting. Sometimes you don't see these things until uh, later. Very cool. Nice little sea motif on the side of this building here, too. Down below here. Let's 
drawn by one of our local muralists, muralists in 2012, aka <laughs> graffiti artist, <laughs> Bakosita. Classic piece of uh, artwork here in Vancouver. There's more on the side here. And beautiful, eh? There's e cloud bikes. Any e bikes? They got good reviews, so if you're in any e bikes, that's the one place you can go. There's lots of other places across the city, so I definitely say shop around. There's even uh, over in my neck of the woods, just in the neighborhood, two neighborhoods over in uh, Creektown, Kitsilano, and there's an e bike shop there too. They're also pretty good, so. <laughs> I guess if you're not good, you're not going to get the business. So everyone's just going to have to be good. <laughs> and everyone just keeps upping each other. <laughs> Vancouver's a very, very small market. We do get tourists coming in through. But for something like a bike, e-bike, that's something uh, more often a local's going to purchase. With the lithium batteries and how they're allowed and not allowed <laughs> on airplanes and boats and stuff like that. Another awesome little mural here. And over here we have some new, uh, reno new freshly renovated uh, business space for people. I'm not sure if some business pulled out over here or not, because these are uh, somewhat newer. I know the Vancouver main dentist here that we're walking past. It's been here for a bit. And down here, the Chai Wagon is uh, opening up a brick and mortar soon. This will be good. So the Chai Wagon will be right on over here. Also in here. You can check the Chai Wagon out on... Um, <laughs> Canby and West 7. Over by the Save On Foods. As well as over... Uh, on the Drive by uh, Charles Street. This will be the intersection of East 2nd and Main. And if you continue this way down East 2nd, you'll end up over at the Emily Carr University of Art Plus Design, as well as Vancouver Community College. And you'll also see the new location for uh, the Emily Carr University uh, SkyTrain station that's going through. One of the stations, uh, that's the first station. It's going to be brand new. Connecting on to Clark Station. We have the Millennium Line. And then you can ride that all the way west to Arbutus. But that's going to happen in another two years or so. So you can take it for what it is. But uh, things are changing here in Vancouver. Of course, here is a, some more housing as well as they're building stacked industrial space here. <laughs> so it's interesting. They're selling it as creative industrial space. And that's usually <laughs> when you get those more like a sciencey project type businesses coming in that do acquire a lot of money and then create something magnificent at the end. <laughs> They need some nice reinforced floors. But again, then you could just also get like, you know, some kind of app development in there too. So who knows? Now we're crossing east for staff. And we'll continue.
And we're just passing the Main Street Dental here. This is over by Main and Switchman Street. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Here's a Switchman Street for you. And I'll take you into the Olympic Village. We're walking past the Olympic Village right now. Maybe the outer side of it. Over here, there's a Service Canada. Now, what part of the Canadian government is this? This would be uh, the Canada Border Services Agency. So yeah, not Service Canada, sorry. Canadian Border Service Agency. And it looks like they open their lobby doors from 7.30 a.m. to 1 a.m. <laughs> because they're Canada Border Services. I don't think too many people are walking into that building. Now we're here, we got the local 24 hours McDonald's. This is a, a McDonald's that still has its giant parking lot here in Vancouver. And their drive throughs The car is still a popular function of Vancouver. There you can see the drive through as well as the front entrance. But of course, times are changing. There's a lot more people, including myself, who are who use public transit to get around. And that's uh, an excellent bus service provided by TransLink. And uh, the SkyTrain service is it's fairly easy to not only get around Vancouver, but much of Vancouver as well. Street here, there's a much needed social housing for people that can't afford social housing and sometimes come from <laughs> some tougher backgrounds if they're recovering from and drug issues and mental health issues. Keep walking here. <laughs> and this is the intersection of uh, Terminal Ave and Main Street. And I just walked down Terminal Ave and posted a video a couple days ago. Not more than a couple days, a few days ago. You want to see what Terminal Ave looks like? You can. Walk down it. There comes one of the sky trains coming on in right now to the station. There you go. Come across the street. SP one six five L. You know the person who drove that car? Mm -hmm. Just chirp him, tell him hey. <laughs> I saw you have some lazy driving skills at uh, Main and Terminal Ave on Jerome Forest. But <laughs> and after you make fun of them for a short few seconds, just drop it. <laughs> They'll be embarrassed. <laughs> That's all you have to do. I'll head on into the station here. Take the escalator up. Now jump on the sky train. And this is the Main Street Science World Station if you're not familiar. <laughs> Some teenagers being teenagers. Teenagers over here in the city are pretty nice. I must admit. Here comes our train.
<laughs> it doesn't look like there's a lot of room today, so we'll just stay right here. Nice view out the window. And we're on the actual live sky train right now. This will take us over to Stadium Chinatown Station. You can see Science World and the terminus of False Creek in front of Creekside Park. And False Creek is one of the inlets here for the Pacific Ocean. And in the background, you can probably also see the stadium now. That would be BC Place, and right next to it is the Rogers Arena. That's where the Vancouver Canucks play. And that's Concord Pacific Community Park. Just gotta brace myself here as the train picks up some speed. There's another passing train. This will be our stop. <laughs> we'll head on up the escalator here. We open up the uh, door on the side here. It's been shut down for a long time. There was some foundation work that was broken. Looks like they had to get some special equipment in. Nope, still closed. I got uh, Tim Hortons in here too for you. I can get real busy in the morning with the office crowd. There's plenty of other coffee shops in town if you can't get your Timmy's there. And because we tapped on, we're going to tap off. <laughs> and we usually go down Dunn's here, so we'll head down Beatty Street today. down the shady side of the street. So it's the intersection of, of Beatty and Dunn's here. And it's our turn. So we'll cross. Over here is a rather famous wall. It used to be graffiti, constantly changing now to murals. I'm sure at some point in time we'll come here and change the murals again. And over my lifetime, this wall has constantly changed. Whenever I visited Vancouver, before I became a local again. Last time I was here, I was a Metro Vancouver, right? When I lived here before, over 21 years ago. Metro Vancouver, living out of Coquitlam, but did a lot of work over here in uh, Vancouver as well. <laughs> Some bros just joshing each other. <laughs> That's awesome. It's good to see people with hot faces. It's like they're protecting the wall right now. Usually when they start putting up a wall, oh my gosh. 
<laughs> no, they're tearing shit down. Sorry for swearing, folks. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that wall's gone. That's why they're not doing new stuff on it. They're putting a whole new building in here. Hopefully it'll be a nice tall building. Lots of housing. And maybe just regular condos for people that want to buy condos. We need some of that too. Oftentimes in the news you'll hear, hey, we need social housing. And we need more social housing. Or it'll say affordable housing. Both of those uh, terms are housing for people that need public assistance and significant public assistance if they have issues like drug addictions and stuff like that. And we do need that type of housing, but uh, this is Beatty Street and Georgia Street. That's the Georgia Viaduct ahead of us there. But we also, what we really, really need and would help drive down housing is massive housing of just housing that people want to, normal people want to buy. <laughs> and too. And uh, I understand the, the current federal government's a little late to the game and now they're jumping in. And uh, they're trying to make promises just before a uh, federal election, but uh, I'm sorry, when you're promising like 40,000 houses, 40, <laughs> 4,000 houses here and 5,000 houses there, <laughs> And maybe 40, <laughs> 40,000 units over here. That isn't enough. We need, uh, we need several millions. Several million. And that's just the start. Especially when uh, we have immigration already ramped up. And, uh, you know, our population increasing from 41 million to 42 million in uh, nine months or less than a year. A lot of people coming into the country and there's nothing wrong with immigration, but uh, to make sure that both local Canadians as well as uh, new permanent residents are set up properly here and for success in this country, we just need more housing. <laughs> Way more housing. Don't keep walking here. Just passing by the Georgia Court Hotel. Looks like they got the parking lot locked off right now. They're probably waiting for someone twenty twenty to come on in. <laughs> we'll keep walking on Beatty Street here. And this would be Beatty and Robson Street. Oh, across the street. And we'll head on over to Terry Fox and uh, wrap this video up for you folks. Then I'll probably walk over to Neil Town Roundhouse Station and catch them. Sky train back up to the 99. And there is the BC place for us in all of its glory. And it's our turn, so two clicks, we're back up. And uh, here we are. <laughs> With uh, local skateboarders and all. <laughs> Over here. There's uh, Terry for you. Terry Fox. Yeah, have this little memorial here. This is a popular skateboarding spot too. So if you're a boarder, it's one place you can come. <laughs> Anyways folks, thanks for coming along and just remember to share, like, and subscribe. Oh, nice one. <laughs> and I'll talk to you later. <laughs> have a good day.